Yeah. Did you know that? No, I didn't. I want to get you on YouTube. <laughs> okay, uh, how long have you been playing, John? This is John McBride from the Firestarters. I had my first lesson the first Saturday Janu of January 2002 at the Riley School of Irish Music right. in Cincinnati. You've only been playing eight years? Yes. Oh, my gosh. And uh, a year and three months after my first lesson... I uh, qualified to compete in All Ireland at the uh, Midwest FLA. Right. And um, uh, two more FLA medals later, <laughs> I uh, started teaching at the Riley School of Irish Music and became a board member there. And then a uh, very lucky day came when in uh, January of 2005, I had my first gig as a fire starter for Roger Drotty and the Fire Starters. <laughs> I've been playing with them since, and just, it's such a thrill. It's really brought my play up dramatically. Right. And uh, he always keeps, uh, keeps me on my toes. Uh, and I do like the fact that he lets us arrange our parts of the music. Right. And have uh, come up with a, a lot of different sounds. And this custom drum that I have here, okay, hang on. this this was uh, made for me by a guy named Michael Vignoles out of uh, Galway City, Ireland. And uh, he made it to my specifications, uh, depth, height. Uh, and I'm just blown away by this drum and the tones and everything that's inside of this. I've had it since... December of 2009, and I've almost found half of the notes that are in it. Wow! Yeah. Wow! Yeah, it's just incredible what is inside this thing. I just got to continue to discover what's in it. Right. Wow, I love that. Yeah. And what's your? Um, can you show us a few of the a few of the things, a few of the trade secrets? Because most of the YouTube videos. Do not post anything worth uh, worth posting. So can you give us can you give us a few even the wrist? You know okay, people were one of, one of the keys to playing the Bowren is number one, the action is not up and down. We call that a painter stroke. It would be very painful to play playing up and down. You make the motion as if you're turning a round door handle. Okay. It's all back in this joint right here. Okay. That is where you have the ability to play. Right. And then you just kind of take off from there, do up, down, up, down, up, down, and then you start. Then you kind of take off from there. There's a lot of steps in between that, <laughs> <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> but it's it's what I did is when I first had my first lesson, from that day through the first three years of playing, I practiced a minimum, and I really mean a minimum, of an hour every day. Oh, okay. Every day. Okay. A lot of those days were two, three hours just practicing. Right. The first three years, just because uh, I kept trying to figure out what I could do on this. Okay, you so, so a few of the other things that I had missed. You. You're keeping your wrist straight, and then can you show what you do with your fingers in the back? These are the volumes here. Okay. Um, it's for each ear, basically. All right. Uh, you wanna yeah, just put on the chair. Great. We're in the recording studio with Thank John you. McBride. Yeah, that one you could hit with a Mack truck and it would dent the Mack truck. <laughs> <laughs> Slingshot. So, uh, we're going to listen a bit and make sure we've got the mics in the right. Okay. Once we just get him dialed in, then you can tell me when. Vocal and a yeah. Just show me the back end here really, really quick. So, so then, you... see these marks on my hand? Those are where I get the tones. Okay. This callus begins here and somewhere over there. I mean, it's a deep callus. Okay. <laughs>
beautiful. Can you like get this in the light for a moment so they can see what you do with your hands? Because this is all in shadow and it's a dark room. Oh, so let me just light. okay, yeah, just yes, I can. Okay, that's great. It. Yeah, I got it, John. Great. Okay, thank you, honey. Thanks.